Hola and welcome to this video. I am Javier Romero and here we are going to see the summary of this introduction of our tutorial on Easy Answer Set Program. I hope at this point you all have a good idea of what is this Easy Answer Set Programming with these two parts. No? This easy understanding of what are logic programs and their answer sets and also this very simple easy recommendation and on how to write logic programs, taking into account that recommendation. So if we look a bit back on what we have seen in this part of the tutorial, we started seeing what are the answer sets of an easy logic program, and it's just they are just the result of applying the rules in order, right? And here we tell that how do we apply the rules or with choices whenever the condition of the rule holds, then we may generate new answer sets. With normal rules, we must add new atoms to our sets. And with constrained rules, whenever the condition, the body holds, then it eliminates the answer set, right? And then here we talked a bit about what is to apply a rule in order. And this was that if a rule was applied in order, if for every predicate in its body, there are no rules with that predicate in the head left to be applied. And we have seen it going through the example. Right. Then we extended this also for logic program with recursive rules. And here the main idea was that sets of recursive rules are considered as a single rule that is applied repeatedly until nothing changes. And in the last section before this one, we have talked a bit about negative recursion and we have said that this is not allowed in easy answers of programming. This is, of course, you can write it in the ASP systems and they will give you the, the, the answer sets. But here we restrict ourselves to programs that have no negative recursion. And we do it for two reasons. The first one is that then the understanding of the logic programs is simpler, it's easier. And the second one is that any problem that we can represent with negative recursion, we can also represent it without it. So it's not really needed for solving a given problem. Good, so this was the understanding of logic programming, the answer sets. Now, the easy recommendation, the easy re uh, advice on how to write logic program is, look, then if the answer sets are the result of applying the rules in order, then just write those rules in order. Nice, so I think this was all for this introduction of the tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed coming with me through all these ideas and that now you have a clear understanding about them. Of course, if you have questions or comments, just write it um, down on the, under the video. And uh, yeah, then this finishes the introduction and I hope you like it and this was it. Then stay tuned. Ciao.